of the Lord. There's going to be a reward someday. There's going to be a judgment seat. Crowns will be uh, given at the judgment seat. So we must, we must not forget, we must never forget that this is God's work. It's the work of the Lord. It says here, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. It's the Lord's work. You know, the Lord said in John chapter 9, verse 4, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. So it's the Lord's work. For always to be abounding in the work of the Lord. One of my favorite uh, hymns, I should have thought about it earlier when Carl was uh, taking requests, is work for the night is coming. Work through the morning hours. Work while the dew is sparkling. Work mid springing flowers. Work when the day grows brighter. Work in the glowing sun. Work for the night is coming when man's work is done. Beloved, it's going to come a time when we're going to we're going to have to take a break. That's it. Our work is over. There's a, there's a day coming when our work is going to be done. Work for the night is coming. Work through the sunny noon. Fill brightest hours with labor. Rest comes sure and soon. Give every flying minute something to keep in store. Work for the night is coming when man works no more. Soon our work will be over. But today, in the meantime, the Bible says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Work for the night is coming under the sunset skies. While their bright tints are glowing, work for daylight flies. Work till the last beam faded, faded to shine no more. Work while the night is darkening when man's work is o'er. Interesting, the young lady who wrote that great hymn was only 18 years old when she wrote that. Hannah L. Cocky was only 18 when she wrote that uh, beloved song, and yet she understood the importance of working for the Lord, always abounding in the work of the Lord. By the way, how old are you? 27. See? All the work she's already accomplished. And just getting started. I mean, going to be married, Lord willing, in November, marrying a preacher, and we see the DC understands the importance of working, always abounding in the work of the Lord. You know, the Bible has a lot to say about this, working for the Lord abounding in the work of the Lord. By the way, I saw something earlier. I almost forgot about this. I was sitting at my breakfast table this morning getting ready to go to church. And I was thinking about preaching tonight on always abounding in the work of the Lord. And I saw this article. It says abounding. I caught my eye. Abounding. I was preaching tonight about abounding. <coughs> Abounding in the work of the Lord. The word abound suggests a river overflowing its banks. It deepens and widens. Its overflow is without confines. 